ups and downs in many ways, but today it's a beautiful back road site and a big business. You know, a lot of you farmers today are things are consolidated and because of the economies of scale. Yeah, you know, you have bigger farmers now. You know, when I first got in the gin business 20 years ago, uh, your average cotton farmer is probably 500 acres. My average farmer now is probably 1,800 acres. The season when you when you when you're harvesting and planting and, and getting everything in, you you know you up at daylight, and you may come home at eight, nine, ten o'clock at night. So I mean, it's nothing for us to work 80, 90 hour weeks. But I mean, it's just once you grow up in that, you're used to it. Several generations of Mobleys have farmed in Cockwood County, and they're one of the county's biggest businesses. Mark Mobley runs the family's cotton gin. All we're doing in the cotton gin is the same thing Eli Whitney invented over 200 something years ago. Is we're separating the fiber from the seed. He had an old wooden peg that would come through two ribs and he'd pull the fiber off the seed. We do it with saws now and we do it a lot faster. Some of my best times are when I can come out and just walk through the fields. You know, you're kind of getting back to the land and getting back to what you're used to doing. Because I grew up, you know, on tractors and with equipment and, you know, working the land and, and you'd love to get back out and do that. From snowy fields of cotton, Wide southern rivers, the back roads of southwest Georgia offer many eye-catching scenes and friendly places to stop and rest a while. Here you are a long way from any big city, so slow down and take in the sights. 